Mike Gorman got his start in Providence Radio doing sports on WPRO's Salty Brine Morning Show. He's also covered the Rhodey Rams and PC Friars and served as sports director at WPRI-TV. For the past 30 years, Mike's been courtside with Tommy Heinsohn in one of the longest tenured broadcast teams in professional sports. I want to say thank you to the Rhode Island Radio Hall of Fame for this honor and congratulations to all my fellow inductees. From the time that Steve McDonald called me to tell me of my selection, I've been wandering through the website, looking at names, Charlie Jeffords, Jimmy Gray, Chuck Wilson, Steve Cass, Debbie Rich, and of course, Walter Salty Bryan. People who defined Rhode Island Radio for a slice of time, and who are all in one, affair, one respect or another were my teachers, with Salty as the professor. And now to be mentioned in the same breath as them all, it's really a great feeling and I appreciate it. I'd like to thank my Comcast family for coming up here tonight and sharing this moment with me. Bill Bridgen, who's a great boss, but a better friend. And of course, Tommy Heinsohn, my partner for 35 years on the road, my mentor, my brother, my buddy. Thank you, team. I have a couple of other people at the table I'd like to identify. Bill Reynolds has already been identified. Bill and I fell in love with the same girl, basketball, back 50 years ago, and rode the Big East as a great wave, Billy has been a dear friend. Ray Perry, who for a long time was the face of the Rhode Island Lottery, is also the godfather to my daughter, a great person, and I'm glad that he's here tonight. And two people, well, no, I, oh, I almost forgot, I almost forgot, and it would be hell to pay. My wife, Terry, of 30 years, <laughs> who patiently listens to old stories about Foster Gloucester clothing, no school reports, blizzards, and Harry Chapin concerts. And finally, two people who sadly are no longer with us, Mark Haynes and Salty Brine. The phone rang one Monday morning in WNBH New Bedford's newsroom. It really wasn't a room, it was kind of a space. But nevertheless, on the other end was Mark Haynes, and he introduced himself as being the sports director of W, or the news director, rather, of WPRO in Providence. He had heard me when he was driving through New Bedford and he wanted to know if I wanted to become WPRO's New England News Voice. I'm like, wow, this is it, my break, it's come. I immediately answered, I said, well, of, of course I would. I, I've got to give notice here, I've got to move. Whoa, says Haynes, whoa, whoa, whoa. There'll be no giving of your notice, there'll be no moving to Rhode Island because there's no money in this job. I just want you to rip the AP wire every morning and read the best story to me, and if it's a fire in Worcester, Massachusetts, at the end, say, in Worcester, I'm Mike Gorman for WPRO News. If it's a shooting in Portland, Maine, at the end of it, just say, in Portland, Maine, I'm Mike Gorman for WPRO News. And I say, but I won't be in Portland, Maine. There's a prolonged silence on the other end of the phone. And then a sigh, as only Mark Haynes could sigh. And then finally, in that incredible voice of his that dripped with judgment and imminent dismissal, he... Here's the deal, he said, I don't have a job for you, but if you do what I ask for a month, I guarantee you the program director will be saying, who is this guy who's everywhere? We need him over here. <laughs> it took six weeks, but I got the call. Enter me as the new WPRO public affairs director, whose only job was to make sure that we did the proper amount of public affairs programming to keep on the air and keep our license. I'm not sure how much time it took, but finally Haynes and I approached Salty one day about me reading scores twice an hour. Salty was in favor of this, but the program director preferred at 6.20 in the morning we play Dancing Queen and stop talking as much as we were. Salty, however, won out, as he usually did, and the next thing you know, my twice an hour reports had morphed into constantly being at Salty's side from 6 to 10. And that's where I learned I could play. Quick Salty story if I can. One night I stayed out a little too late in Newport, Rhode Island, woke up around 6.30 in the morning and realized I was supposed to be on the air with Walter at 6.00. This was only about a week after I had taken the full-time position. I jumped in my car in Newport and I start for East Providence and I noticed that everybody is flashing their lights at me as I drive along. I flip on the radio and his Salty, as only he could do it, saying, everyone, ho, Mike is not here. We don't know what's going on. He could be sick. He could be in trouble. He's driving a beat up old blue BMG convertible. convertible. If you see him on the road, blink your lights. <laughs> now this is before cell phones, so this is considered advanced communication on Salty's part. <laughs> I proceed to get blindsided by oncoming lights for my entire ride to Providence. Salty and I have a good laugh about this on the air, but as I walk out of the studio, the GM secretary is standing there and she said, 
Dick would like to see you. I figure, okay, I've blown it now. Back to the public affairs gig if I'm lucky. Haynes had hired me and I had never met Rackets, Dick Rackavan, who's sitting over there. I walk into his office, he's on the phone, waves me to a chair, finished off his conversations, turned to me, smiles, and says, this late bit is pretty good, keep it up. <laughs> now I'm thinking, what's better than this? I got a four hour a day job where they're encouraging me to be late. <laughs> I could talk a lot, actually, about what Salty did for me here and what they did I'm already to my four minutes, and I want to not cry and, and get off here before four minutes. Um, but I just want you to know that every time I think of Salty, Mark, and Bud, and all those days at WPRO, I smile. There's nothing I have done in my career, and nothing I will do in my career, that hasn't been influenced by my time in Providence Radio. Thank you. <laughs>